All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Uh, another example of a lovely two-step equation. So I'm doing this two-step equation. I just need to remember to use my uh, reverse order of operation and inverse properties. It's just like one-step equation. The only difference is we just need to determine which inverse operation we always undo first. In this example, we're going to undo addition and subtraction before we undo multiplication. So to undo addition, remember, we're going to subtract. And we need to make sure we subtract on both sides. Okay, you can think of both sides of the equal sign. And a lot of times we write a little dotted line to make to represent, to help us understand that you need to make sure you subtract on both sides of the equal sign. So 20 minus 20 is 0. 0 plus negative 3h is just going to still leave me with a negative 3h. 2 minus negative 20 is a negative 18. Now I need to undo multiplication by a negative 3, because that negative 3h is being, means negative 3 times h. So negative 3 times h, that reverse inverse operation of that would be to divide by negative 3 on both sides. Well, then I have a negative 18 divided by negative 3. Remember, a negative number divided by negative number is going to produce me a positive number. And that's going to be 6 equals h. Then what I'm going to do is we really don't like to leave it as 6 equals h. What I'm going to use is the reflexive property to switch it around and write h equals 6. All right? It's still the correct answer. All right? But think about when you're saying like a sentence. You, know, you say uh, 6 equals h. Well, h is what we don't know. So we like to say that first and say h, our unknown, is equal to 6. That means the value of h is equal to 6. Um, we can plug it in and do the evaluation, or we can just always kind of always check it too in your head. So you can do it out here. Uh, let's plug a 6 in for the h. So negative 3 times 6, right, because 6 is equal to h, is negative 18. Negative 18 plus 20 is 2, and that's equal to 2. So we're good.